Hello, welcome to a Photoshop tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a mosaic um, text effect out of some of your pictures. Uh, we might animate it if we've got time at the end. It's quite a lot to get through in this. I'm going to show you how to create an action, how to apply the action in the image processing and also then how to create a contact sheet and then how to use it in a clipping group with text to create the mosaic text effects. So let's get started. First of all we want to create the actions. Let's bring up the actions palette and let's create a new set. Let's just call it mine random. Click OK. Now an action basically is <coughs> a record of any actions that you do in Photoshop from when you click new action from when you press stop and you get some default ones here um, as standard with Photoshop and basically they'll let you um, do different things to images quite um, um, automatically really so you could do sepia toning press play and there you've done it for, it's done it for us let's revert that come down to mine random and I'm going to click on new and I'm going to call this 500 by 500 because I want to create an action where all the images I apply it to in the image processing um, script I think it is um, will be 500 by 500 so I want them all the same size so record so the first thing I do is image image size 500 500 and we don't want to constrain the portions click OK that's it so now we can just press stop now if I open up a image and let's do where's the animals and I run that it will just resize it that's what I want so we can get rid of that we can get rid of that I've got the action, we'll come to file, scripts, image processor, in here we want to select the folder. Now I created a folder called to be scaled and I put 20 pictures of animals in there and that's the folder we want so to be scaled, click OK and we want to save them in scaled, click OK save them as JPEG, quality 5 is fine and we want to run the action the set is my random and the action is 500 by 500 we don't need copyright info um, that we can just leave off and we'll click run ok so it's done that, if I open up the scale photos folder you'll see they're all 500 by 500 yes so we can get rid of that get rid of that. Now we want to go file, let's just close this, file, automate, contact sheet. We want to create a contact sheet. So the folder we want to use is JPEG in the scale photos folder. Um, don't need to include the subfolders because we've got the right folder. And then I choose to flatten all layers and I come down to thumbnails. Now I place across first and five columns, four rows. So <coughs> when I come back up to the document, I change the unit to pixels. And if it's five columns, so that's five across, and we know they're 500 by 500, so five times five is 2,500, and four rows. So that's four times 500 is 2,000 pixels. And then we know it'll fit perfectly onto our context sheet. The resolution can just be 72. The rest is fine. We don't want a caption because that will add text underneath each of our images and we'll click OK. Now this bit takes a bit of time so I'm going to fast forward. Right so this is the result. This is our contact sheet and as you can see there's um, four rows, five columns, 20 images and all. Now we can get our text tool. I'm going to use a nice bold font, so I'll use the Arial Black, you should all have that. And I'm just going to type with caps lock on, mo 
mistake, caps lock off, hit the enter on a numerical keypad, or you could have just ticked the arrow. Control T, and I'll just transform this up, make it quite large. like so and I'll put that underneath the contact sheet and then I'll hold down control click on new layer and then my background color is black so I'm going to fill that new layer with black control delete and then I'm going to come in between contact sheet layer and mosaic layer holding down alt until it changes to this little arrow with a square beside it and click and that creates a clipping group now let's add some layer styles to this mosaic but first of all let's just do a control A V for the move tool and we'll just align it vertically horizontally control D to deselect double click the layer styles I'm going to add a stroke probably a 50% grey stroke just to give it a little outline and we'll give it a bevel emboss turn the depth up it's the highlight and the shadow and I think that's fine for the contour you could play about with size but I quite like it just subtle like that click OK and there we have our mosaic text effects now the good thing about this we're on the move tool we can come up to this contact sheet and choose whereabouts we want this we could even transform this contact sheet and make it smaller some more images inside but I prefer to leave it as it is and let's just quickly animate it window timeline create video thumbnail contact sheet position come to three seconds bring our work area down keyframe the position like we have done and then go up until we get to the other end now when we hit the spacebar to play it you can see it's scrolling through them images in our text quite a nice effect so that's how you can create a mosaic text effect using actions image processor contact sheet and use it to create a clipping group with text and animate it and add some layer styles thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time